It's Thursday, September 6th, 2012. My name is Sean Hollister, and you're about to spend 90 seconds on The Verge. Amazon introduced a new family of Kindle Fire tablets today. The new Kindle Fire HD7 adds a faster processor, a higher resolution IPS display, and 16 gigabytes of storage for $199. Amazon's biggest surprise is its 8.9 inch Kindle Fire HD tablet. Amazon has worked out a sweetheart deal with AT&T for a $499 LTE version, offering 250 megabytes of data per month for only 50 a year. All of the new Kindle Fire tablets will be ad-supported, so you'll be able to browse Amazon while you browse Amazon on Amazon's new devices. Amazon hasn't forgotten about its e-readers, either. The new $119 Kindle Paperwhite comes with a sharper, higher contrast screen and a front light for illuminated reading, and the original Kindle will now cost just $69. In other e-reading news, a federal judge has approved a settlement in the e-book price-fixing case. Three of five publishers are on board, but Macmillan, Penguin, and Apple still remain defiant. Finally, there's the world of Nokia. Nokia wowed audiences with its new PureView camera tech yesterday, but it turns out the video wasn't actually filmed with the new Lumia 920 smartphone. Nokia quickly apologized for the gaffe and provided some genuinely impressive PureView video samples, leaving the world wondering why they didn't just do that to begin with. That's it for today's top stories. Tune in tomorrow to learn about the exciting new world of telepathic peripherals. Can mind control save the mouse from extinction?